right, guys, get in the Uber. We'll talk soon. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Um, are you, you excited for the day? Yep. Exciting oh. things. What's going on today? Today, I start my first day at a coffee school here in Medellin called uh, Barista. We're getting in the Uber now to get there. So. Okay. All right, guys, get in the Uber. We'll talk soon. Like I was saying earlier, today is my first day of barista school. It's called Medellin Barista School. And it's here in Ebola. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. If you know, I have a passion for coffee. I love coffee. And I'm excited that I'm starting my first day today. Um, it's been a long time coming. And yeah, I hope to just show some clips of of my day today, so stay tuned. Es que es la onda 
Hello again guys, I am back from my first day of school, barista school. It is called Medellin Barista School. Today was my first day um, learning about coffee. If you guys know me, you guys know that I love coffee, I'm passionate about coffee, and that I one day want to open a coffee shop, whether that's like a brick and mortar or a mobile, I don't know. I don't know what that looks like, but I know God has given me a vision for a coffee shop for some years now and um, a, year, a few years ago when I lived in Florida I worked at a local coffee shop where I learned a little bit about espresso and um, just I was a barista and I loved it um, and from there just my passion of coffee grew and a lot of things happened in that season that really led me to uh, want to pursue this and so today one of the things that I learned as I walked in there, I walked in there, it was a great atmosphere. There was people there, there was instructors, there was students that were ready to learn. And so today I learned a few things, just the basics of coffee really, just learning about the machine, learning the types of shots to pull, grinder, uh, texturizing milk, um, doing latte art designs, like hearts and things like that. So that was pretty neat. Just learned all the basics of uh, an espresso machine and all of that. And I couldn't get a lot of clips because I didn't have where to put the camera and it was a little bit hard, uh, but I did get just a little bit. I hope that in the future, I'm able to figure that out and just get great content for you guys so that you're with me and you get to experience what I'm experiencing there. But. Needless to say, it was a great experience. Um, I believe the the school was founded by an, a guy, a young man named Sebastian. He lived in Australia for five years, and uh, there he learned about coffee, but also he was very passionate about it. So when he got back to Colombia, um, he was working at coffee shops, cafes, and after he found out about his passion for coffee, he started teaching other people how to make coffee and learn about the coffee world and espresso and all that stuff. So that's why it's there. It's called Medellin Barista School. And the course that I am doing is the business one. So I am looking forward to uh, pursue like a business out of this and uh, not just for business, but for relationships. And I want to impact the community through coffee. So uh, I picked the, the business one, which is 32 hours long. And it's Monday through Friday. I can set up my own schedule. But it's 32 hours and 12 classes. So it's business, entrepreneurship, all the good things. And so I'm excited that I am doing this because for a long time, I'll tell you a long time before I had children I had this dream about opening a coffee shop and going to school and learning all the things and it wasn't until many of you know I have five boys five children and so that has uh, caused me to just you know, put some things on pause so that I can focus on raising my family, focus on the home and all of that. And I knew that this dream of mine would come to pass. I just didn't know when. And 
Uh, needless to say, fast forward, 2023, and I'm here, I'm in Colombia and where coffee is grown and cultivated and I'm learning about coffee. I can definitely say that it's way cheaper to go to school here than it is in the US to pursue this. Um, I don't know if you need a degree to like go into the business world, but I rather have the knowledge and experience and go in with what I know than to not know what I'm doing. So uh, I picked this course because it's local and I like supporting local businesses and because it is affordable as well. They have a specialty coffee college out here, it's like in the USA, but it's way more expensive. Um, and so I am just doing the local one here, which it has been great. And I know it will continue to be great, but the people are amazing. Um, what else? I, I'm just excited, honestly. I learned a lot today. And one of the, something I wanted to share with you, if you're out there and you're a woman and you feel like you're stuck, like you can't pursue your dreams or that you have to stop uh, doing what you've been passionate about because you have children, I do want to encourage you that there is a timing and a season for everything and that if God has given you a vision for something and it's a, a desire for something that is from Him, it's just not your timing, but His timing. And so things may take time um, and you're not delayed, you're not behind or anything like that. Like God has a timing for everything and so He will make it and allow it to come to pass when the time is ready. So I'm really thankful that even in the hard days and the easy days, I always had a desire to pursue this, to pursue coffee, to pursue opening a business and do something for God through um, what I'm passionate about. And I know time was everything and just really waiting on God because it may be like, yeah, like I gave you this vision and I gave you this heart for something that you're that this desires, good desires that are aligned with this will come from him. And so if he gave you a vision, a desire that is from him, he will, he promises that he will make it come to pass. Um, if he shows you, if he showed you and in, in, you know that he showed you, um, you just have to wait on God's timing. But yeah, uh, that's my little baby back there in the background. Hey baby, it's okay. Um, but God will make it come to pass and it's just his timing, not our timing. And I'm glad that I just waited and didn't rush things before. Um, I couldn't see that I was going to be here years ago or months ago, but look, I'm here now. So I'm just thankful for just God and his leading and his provision wherever I go. But Yes, I hope you enjoy the video. I totally look forward to recording more and providing more content for you as we journey together to this coffee uh, world. Uh, I love you all so much and thank you for just being a part of the Faith and Familia. And I hope you have a blessed day. Ciao.